What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I still have my friend's PC over here and I actually got sent out this cooler from Vetro. This is the V5. It cost $30. In this video, we're going to be swapping the AMD stock cooler that came with this CPU to the Vetro V5. The CPU cooler comes with an ARGB fan in the front and it comes ready out of the box for Intel 12th gen uh, CPUs, which is really good. It has a LGA 1700 bracket in the box, which is awesome for $30. So without further ado, we're going to be running some stress tests on the CPU with the stock cooler, see what the temperature are like, and uh, then swap it out and do the same test and see how much performance we get. So let's do that. So I am confusion. Yes. Okay guys, we have the PC running right here. The side panel is closed. PC is in idle situation right now. Nothing is running at all. And the temperatures are running between 40 to 50 degrees uh, Celsius, obviously, uh, which is a little bit high for idling on PC. Nothing is open on the PC right now. And the side panel is closed. We're gonna go ahead and run a Cinebench test and see what the temperatures get up to. That is the peak as of right now, 76 degrees, which is okay. It's not great, but it's not too bad either. Cinebench finished in 74, 63 points, which is not bad. And the temperatures got up to 78 at the max. And now it's back to 50 and idling. Now we're gonna go ahead and switch the CPU cooler to the new one that we got from Vetro and see if we can get any temperatures to be better. Let's change my friend's CPU cooler with this brand new CPU cooler from Vetro. We're gonna be swapping it out right now. First, take the old CPU cooler out and then take the CPU out, clean it with some alcohol and some paper towels. Brand new CPU, look at that. The new CPU cooler is ready to be installed. Let's install the CPU, put some thermal paste on the CPU and install a new cooler. And honestly, it looks so much better. But most importantly, this CPU cooler kept my friend's PC running. Okay guys, we just finished installation of the CPU cooler. Let's turn the PC on and see if it still works. The CPU fan is not spinning. Why though? Oh, here it is. Okay, kicked in a little bit later, but it's running in. There's not gonna be any RGB coming in from this because it's plugged into a different controller than the IQ one. We're gonna plug in the PC and run some tests and see where the temperature stays at. Okay guys, the CPU is in idle mode right now and the temperatures are actually pretty, pretty good. At 34 degrees, it goes up to 42, all the way down to mid thirties, which was spiking up to fifties in the previous idle with the other stock cooler. Let's go ahead and run the Cinebench test and see what it gets up to. All right, Cinebench is running right now. Let's see what the temperatures are at, 65 degrees. So definitely, definitely much better. That's 10 Celsius less than the previous temperatures. Uh, which definitely can improve the performance of your CPU if you're running in games. All right, guys, as you guys saw, this CPU cooler that cost $20, $30 improved our CPU temperatures by almost 10 degrees, which is incredible for just a $20, $30 upgrade. Uh, this is why I really like the CPU cooler. I've actually installed it on multiple PCs at this point. I've had it on my PC, a friend's PC, and now this PC. Uh, so overall, for $30, highly, highly recommended. If you guys have any questions if so, or things that I didn't cover, let me know down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>